that a minute. Dean, it would have told us something. What are you talking about? Meg is pissed off because Alex didn't leave us a suicide note. You think he could have summed up his reasons in a note? Maybe a long note. I can sum up people's whole lives in 32 paragraphs. I once did an entire rock band in a page and a half, and they had two drummers. <laughs> what do you think? This is funny. And one of our best friends has decided to kill himself, and we don't have a fucking clue as to why. You never know why anyone does anything. I don't know why I chose these socks this morning. <laughs> oh, there's a great equation. Your socks, Alex's death. Hmm. Pretty sad socks. I believe in the old theory that everybody does everything in order to get laid. Who said that, Freud? No, I did. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, how could we have let Alex slip away like that? Maybe he let us slip away. I never heard from him. Did he hear from you? I tried plenty. He resisted it. It's true. We saw him a lot, but he didn't tell us much. Not me, anyway. I can't speak for Sarah. I knew he wasn't happy. That doesn't tell you much. I had no idea how bad it was. I think he purposely wanted to cut off from all of us because he was so unhappy with where he was at. Is that true, Chloe? Did you feel that? I don't know. We had some good times. I haven't met that many happy people in my life. How do they act? Mm-hmm. I'm sitting here and I realize I don't even know what he was doing for the last five years. Oh, I remember he left that caseworker job in Boston. That was, what, 78 or so? Mm-hmm. I don't even know why he was doing that. And the guy was a scientific genius. What the hell was he doing welfare work for? Well, in that construction job, what was that all about? He didn't know what to do. I can relate to that. So what do you think? If you'd been in touch with him, you could have saved his life? You have that kind of effect on the people in your life? You keep them all jolly, do you? Wise up, folks. We're all alone out there, and tomorrow we're going out there again. I think it was damn straight of Alex not to cook up some neat, phony Reader's Digest condensation of his screwed-up life for our entertainment. I am so sick of people selling their psyches for a little attention. He was classier than that. Yeah, it was a real classy act he pulled in the bathtub. Hey, you know, for some people it isn't a question of why to kill yourself, but why not? Oh, Nick, give me a break. Spare us the tragic existential pose. Sorry, Sam, didn't mean to get into your area. Uh, come on now, guys. Uh, we're all friends here. This is a well-known dynamic. I've seen it a million times. Some people ease the pain of separation by denigrating a relationship. You're so deep. I think Michael's right. I feel shitty about 10 different ways tonight. I don't want to let any of this go. That's healthy. The only way to avoid pain like that is to pretend you don't care. I know. I've left more places than you'll ever go to. Give him your pose line, Sam. There's the existential man for you. You're one tough cookie, aren't you? I could say you're one cold, manipulative, using guy, and it wouldn't bother you a bit. I'm deeply hurt. Well, at least our last night's going to be a fun one. Please don't do this, guys. This is happening because we all really miss him, and we're really hurting. I think that's a crock of shit. I think we're afraid just the opposite is true. Alex died for most of us a long time ago. I think you're a crock of shit. Don't speak for me or anybody else here. You hate your life. That's your problem. Don't tell us how we feel, OK? That's it. That's all I'm saying. If I hate my life, that's my problem. Too bad went around to comfort Alex just as compassionately. Hey, Nick. And we go back a long way. And I'm not going to piss that away because you're higher than a kite. Wrong. A long time ago, we knew each other for a short period. You don't know anything about me. It was easy back then. No one ever had a cushier birth than we did. It's not surprising our friendship could survive that. It's only out here in the world that it gets tough. Nick. I don't care what you say. I know I loved you and everybody else here. And I'll go on believing that till I kick. What's wrong with you?